Beloved brothers and sisters in Christ, this is Brother Frank speaking to you from the International Mission Center in Greifeld, Germany. We just greet you in that precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. By God's grace, we had tremendous meetings. From all over the earth, people are coming and coming. This time, not only from all over Europe, also from Senegal, from Guadeloupe, from Central Africa, from Canada, from the USA, from England, from everywhere, brothers and sisters came to hear the Word of God. Just over a thousand were gathered for the past weekend to share with us the precious and holy Word of God. We truly can say, as it is written in Psalms 118, this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. What is going on on earth has never been heard of before. Be it in the political world, everything seems to come to a climax looking to Israel, observing the things which are now going on, reading the headlines in the internet. Beloved, we can repeat and confirm what our Lord said. When you see all these things come to pass, then you know the time is near, it's at the door, the time is at hand. And especially with Israel, may God bless his covenant people in a very, very special way. Just now, they reached again 16 million Jews as they were before the Holocaust in 1939. We had 16 million Jews, and now, for the first time, we can have 16 million Jews. We all know they were blinded for our sake, that our eyes might be opened and then, of course, we understand the olive trees, the branches were taken out, and we, from the wild olive tree, were put into the true vine. Beloved brothers and sisters, God has a plan of salvation, and we are now entering the last phase of that plan God made from before the foundation of the earth. I also gave a report that was sent to me from the last trip to the Congo Republic. Just very briefly, in the city of Goma, we had 12,000 in the stadium, and after the meeting, 84 were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Then in Kinshasa, we had 18,000 in the stadium, and after the service, 478 were baptized 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then again, a meeting in Mumbaka. There we had 4,000 in the service and 38 were baptized after the service. Then again, in the second meeting in a different stadium in Kinshasa, we had 12,000, and after this service, 241 were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And then in Kolvitsi, we had a wonderful meeting of 9,000 being present. And there, after this service, 32 were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The total of all that were baptized in these meetings were 700 and 98 brothers and sisters were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We do not know how many were baptized after the last service in Lumbumbashi where 14,000 were present to hear the word of God. Beloved, you can imagine how I felt to say thousands upon thousands of brothers and sisters coming from far and near to hear the word of God, the message of the hour. And it reminds me every time again what our Lord said. This gospel, this full gospel, including every promise, including everything that God promised in his word should be shared with all nations and then the end shall be. Even when Brother Branham was given the very special divine commission, I just read a part of it. People were fainting, falling, and a voice came that shook all around the place there and said, as John the Baptist was sent to forerun the first coming of Christ, the message that is given to you will be a forerunner of the second coming of Christ. Not that I would be a forerunner, but the message was the forerunner. Beloved, this we do see fulfilled. How grateful am I, an eyewitness, an ear witness. I knew Brother Branham for 10 years. I came to know about his ministry, especially in 1955, in 1958, in 1962, at all these occasions when I met Brother Branham and was in his meetings, in his home, driving with him in the same car, having the divine revelation by God's grace to recognize the man sent from God with the word of God for our day and time. He was the fulfillment of Malachi 4, where our Lord himself said, I will send you, I, I, the Lord, will send you 
Elijah the prophet to restore all things, to turn the hearts of the children back to the fathers. And there, Brother Branham, a number of times made this statement, now we are being turned back to the apostolic fathers, to the word of God, to the apostolic teachings, the same Lord, the same faith, the same baptism, everything is being restored. And our Lord confirmed this promise in the New Testament in Matthew 17, 11. Elijah truly shall first come and restore all things. What does restore mine? Even there, Brother Branham said, to be placed back into its original position, not to start a new religion, not to start new teachings, but to bring us back to God, to His Word, which only His Word remains forever. And only if we are in the Word of God, we can be in the message of the hour. And if we are in the message of the hour, we are in the Word of God. God is never outside of His Word. Not one time. And every doctrine that is not in the Word of God is outside the Word, outside the will of God, is a wrong teaching, and is misleading the people. This is God's time for God's people to come back and respect the Word of God. Beloved, I have to say this because of my responsibility before God Almighty. And Brother William Branham, God's servant and prophet, confirmed the divine call Brother Frank received on April the second, from the voice of the Lord God Almighty Himself. And on December the 3rd, 1962, Brother Branham repeated word for word the Lord had spoken to me in the German language, and he repeated in the English language what the Lord had spoken. Beloved, too many have closed the Bible and are just using statements after statements, taking out of context what the prophet said and giving the impression to the people that this is what the prophet said. But they have taken it out of context, and this is the big problem. I'm always grateful to the Lord for the respect that He gave me towards the Word, towards the call He gave to William Branham. And beloved, I say this before God Almighty, no one ever had a ministry like William Branham. Only the Lord Jesus Christ, a son of man. The same ministry our Lord had when he walked on the face of the earth. The same ministry repeated before my very eyes. I saw it in Germany. I saw it in the USA. But by the grace of God, I can place it within the Holy Scriptures. Please remember this. God is never outside of His Word. 
God is only in His Word. And He does all things according to His Word. And if you don't have a direct call to the ministry, you should shut up. Only if you do have a call directly from the Lord, you are in His service. Otherwise, you are in your own service. And that is why so many divisions and so many branches and so many different churches and fellowships are in the same city and same area because everybody is a pastor and everybody and everybody. Beloved, this time is almost over. Now the Lord, now the Lord is about to finish his redemption work. It will be 50 years in December since the Lord took his prophet home and we are under great expectation. Nobody knows the day or the hour of the coming of the Lord, but we all understand the message has reached the ends of the earth. The ends of the earth. And from the 192 countries which exchange diplomatic relations with each other. We are now serving 172 countries with the word of God, with the fresh manna by the grace of God, and the rest are now being reached. Our brother Michael has given us the wonderful report that last Saturday, at 16 hours, the first sermon was preached in Pakistan and all the area now will hear every Saturday the word of God and the rest is now being called and when the last one has come in, then the Lord will come to take us home. May the blessings of Almighty God rest upon you in Jesus' holy name. Amen.